Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm probably already at 100K views for my nail fungus video that was done two years ago. You hit this link because you're like, holy crap, she had fungus? Wait, she had ringworm? Hold on, how you take care of this? Because I'm going through the same thing and I have no clue how to make it go away. Some ants or you're outside, you get some mosquito bites, whatever, right? So I had tiny dots on my legs. I wear to work as polyester pants. I just kept itching it, itching it. I would itch it on the regular. And when I take my pants off, it's like a ring. And I have pictures and photos of all the weeks I went through with this and how I got it down. And you're gonna see the journey that I took. I ignored it the first three weeks. I'm just thinking like, oh, it's a bug bite out of control. I itched this and I made it like inflamed. It was looking kind of crazy, but I ignored it. And then finally my mom is like, that looks like a ringworm. I said, no. Look the ringworm images. One of them looked just like it. Oh my God. And I threw the phone on the couch and I almost started crying. I'm like, no, I cannot. Because when you think of ringworm, I don't know what a ringworm is exactly, like me. You think ringworm. There's a freaking worm inside of your skin crawling around. There's a parasite inside of you. Now the world's ending. And I looked it up. It said that ringworm is a fungus. It's not a parasite. Nothing living is inside of you. Like, oh my God, that's gross. How the hell you get rid of fungus? On the other hand, I'm like, yo, nothing's living inside of me. So I am okay. Ringworm is super contagious, which was scary, especially with my boyfriend. Like I would tell him, don't touch it. Or I was afraid to let the blankets rub on it and now he's going to get it. But luckily, nothing like that happened. No clue what to do. I didn't have no medication. So the first thing I was doing, my mom swears this is what makes it get better. And like everything gets better by alcohol, rubbing alcohol. No, it did not get better by rubbing alcohol. But of course I did it. Just threw it on there, tap it. That's when I moved on to coconut oil because the coconut oil is supposed to be a fungus fighter and do all those things. Of course, tea tree is a whole nother great remedy. Aloe vera, but I didn't have none of those. Coconut oil was my only option. And for the first three weeks, I was actually just putting um, cocoa butter on it, thinking it was just a scar, a bug bite scar, and things are gonna be okay, but it was super red. Three weeks is when I started taking care of the problem and it took me like another three weeks to get rid of it and Honestly, I always lose where it's at on my leg because it blends into my skin now, but you could, it gets really dry. So I purchased the Walgreens brand Ringworm Cream. And I will show you in this clip how I apply it. Ringworm Cream, it has one, you need 1% of the Clot Rim Azole Cream, Antifungal Cream. Relieves itches, redness, and irritation. Oh, I forgot to mention, ringworm is itchy. Use my two fingers and scratch around it because I obviously don't want to irritate it. And when you actually itched it by mistake, it burned. But when you're first putting on this medication, it will burn a little bit. Not like, oh my God, I'm on fire. In the beginning, I was doing it whenever I could. The moment it dried up and disappeared, put more, put more, put more, put more. Realistically, it says twice a day. And then as it was getting better, I moved to that twice a day mark. Let's show you my journey on these weeks from when I started taking care of it. Now. Went to the beach and this is what it looks like. Let's see. You could just see the dry part. And sometimes it seems like it's a little pink, but realistically, it's like my skin. You don't really notice it as much and it's just dry at this point. How do I know when the fungus is gone? 
completely like i don't need to use this anymore I put some more on and it actually turned a little bit red again I stopped using it completely now i only put cocoa butter on it because when it gets dry chemicals are too harsh on it now because i no longer need it since it was turning red again i truly hoped i helped any of you guys because when i was freaking out and literally searching up youtube videos on what the hell ringworm is how do i treat it i was so desperate and scared doctor that said all you need is ringworm cream and you're pretty much good now let's say if this didn't take care of it that's when you would need to go to a doctor after a month if you have any questions down below let me know because we gonna take care of this right make this video viral my nail fungus got viral so let's make this viral right ringworm i got ringworm what oh gosh she's so nasty ew what yeah baby. yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already like and comment tell a friend to subscribe share this video with other best day bye